All right, here we go. What the? Well, maybe there are survivors in here. Just modern men. Men using the gun. Hello survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Still over in Molden. Gonna be hitting up the various uh, research facilities and the uh, hospital here. Should be, there's normally some ghouls over here at this research facility, so should be some good experience here. Normally it's a super mutant infested location, so yep. Gonna get some ghoul kills. Excellent, just got a proc, and uh, since I got a proc, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe pop some Barry Mentats for some more experience. And uh, what's the other one? I think it's maybe Daddy O or something that has the even more intelligence. I wish I had, uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and drink a bunch of water too. That should reduce the majority of my intelligence penalties. Yeah, now we're at like 14, so. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's shooting at me? Where'd my, uh... Oop. The hell is this, Scorpion? Good lord, a lot of experience. Any more ghouls around here? I'm gonna actually run inside here real quick and uh, kill people as fast as I possibly can to keep this buff going as long as I can for more experience. My man! You were a little bit angry, weren't you? Oh, come on, novice lock, let me in. Got experience buff going. Gonna wear off here in a second. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Unfortunate. Gonna be hard to get it back now too with all the uh Huh, my very mentats really aren't working very well. I guess they are working, but they're just not, they're not showing up very well. That makes sense. If I could have done this with that buff going the entire time, that would have been nice. Still though, we got a really fast level. There's a bunch of uh, booze in here actually. Saw some whiskey downstairs too I didn't grab because I was trying to hustle through here and get all the kills I could as fast as I could. 
I want to grab some materials here so I can potentially take that recon scope off. It shouldn't take much. Some adhesive, some steel, maybe some screws. Where the hell is this person at? Should be all I need. I can find like a typewriter. Whoops. Let me loot through this area that I kind of skipped through because I was trying to get the experience portion really quick. Right, so you can't get through here, pretty sure. Well, maybe you can. Oh, it's denied. Never mind. Never mind. Got real excited for a second there. See what we got in here. Yep, containment lockdown thing. Got it. Okay, hopefully... Ooh, great Mentats. Hopefully that'll be enough that we can modify that. Assuming we come across a uh, weapons workbench. This area is pretty limited to where you can go to because of the lockdown, obviously. Okay. Don't think we did all of this yet. If you have a jetpack, which I can make a jetpack now, I probably should do that. Uh, if you have a jetpack, you can jetpack up, I think. Isn't it like over here somewhere? Yeah, right here. You can jetpack up here, and there's some more stuff. Got that $9 out of that drawer there. Um, I think there's even a couple of fusion cores up there, maybe. But I think that's pretty much it. Not a lot in here if you don't have that. I should definitely go make that jetpack, though, at some point. I'd use it very sparingly, but, like, for some areas, like, um... I don't know, like for mass fusion, for example, we could get the strength bobblehead really easy. Okay, not a lot in here, that's fine. We'll keep going. The hospital is the main attraction here. Had an issue with a save earlier. I, I think it's fixed now. I don't know, for whatever reason, my save was just not working properly. So I'm going to be doing... Oop, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I meant to do this. Uh, instead, regular save. Not a quick save, because my exit save, my quick save, another one was working. I'm not sure if it was just an issue with my computer or what. I restarted. Just kept crashing. The error I was getting was uh, in Buffout 4, it pointed to the Fallout4.esm file, which is really, really not very helpful at all. So... No idea why it was happening. I have a suspicion that, like, one of my SSDs is having issues as well, and that could be a problem. Like, I might just need to replace one of my SSDs. Oh, I have four levels I need to assign here, and I just have no idea what I want to do to prioritize stuff here. Armor 4 is a thing I should get eventually for T60 power armor. Um... Rifleman, yeah, Rifleman 5 is... we'll get that for sure. That way we have full accuracy now. Night Person is not bad. Uh, if you max it out, you get 30 extra health, which is pretty good during those hours, but... I'm not often out that much during that time. Awareness is kind of nice, too. I mean... Um, just to know what the DR is on stuff is kind of useful. Life Giver is great as well. Um, I'll want, like, I'll want Toughness maxed out. I'll want Life Giver and Camera Resist. All three of these I'll want maxed out. Hunter 2. 
Now I want to max out endurance as well. Chemist is great, gun nuts great, medic is great. Like, these are all good perks. That I will want. The question is just like, when do I want them? Bloody mess is actually really good too. Uh, 20% damage bonus is really good. Then why just max, max this out right now? Hmm. Luck is, uh, there's some good stuff in here too, like... I guess critical banker is not that great, but better criticals is good. You can boost your critical damage, which if you're using overdrive, you have a 25% chance to crit, which is pretty good. Though damage is kind of not that big of a deal. I mean, I want bloody mess for sure. Yeah, why not? 15% more damage is like, it's kind of a no-brainer. Like, it's pretty good. Like, this is at 244 damage now, and I don't know if I have any... Yeah, I don't have any Psycho going, so, like, that's going to be a 300-plus damage shot with Adrenaline and Psycho going. Then if I crit, it could be up to, like, 500 or 600 damage. There's another cooking station there, too, if I need one. Good to know. You guys are already dead, huh? Wow, two uh, stim packs. I guess he didn't get a chance to use them. Poor guy. Okay, and I shot a guy over here, too. I forgot about. He's already stinking. There wouldn't, you know what? There wouldn't be any flies, though. Hmm. That's a good point. There would not be any flies because it's winter time. It's it's too cold for flies. They'd all be frozen. How unimmersive. I wonder if you could patch it out. I'm sure you could. It's probably just an animation that gets triggered somehow on certain conditions. If a corpse lays for a certain amount of time, has a chance to attract flies. Could probably be done. Okay, already over here. I want to go over to the uh, medical place, the hospital. Because there's medtech research, which are already checked out. We can't go very far in there. The real prize is over here, though. It's going to be the, um, the hospital. Not getting any detection right now. Should be any Witcher holotape around here somewhere too, right? Need to be a bit more conservative with my Bray Mentats now. I don't have a ton of them. And they're quite hard to craft. Is that a real terminal? No, it's broken. There it is. Message to Robin Koopa. You did good, Bobby. The wife and girl won't be saying anything. No worries. Hell, once those fat life insurance checks start rolling in, <laughs> Mrs. Montrano will wish her fat slob of a husband had eaten that bullet five years ago. As for what happens next, up to you. Beach, sub shop, car yard. Doesn't matter where he ends up, I don't give a shit. I just want him in the ground. So, long as Johnny Senior never finds out what happened to his little meatball, we're set. Eddie Winter, signing off. You know, what's funny is that I never once, like, questioned the whole Eddie Winter thing, like... The fact that this guy was just telling everything to the feds that they needed to know to bust him, like, and nobody, 
I, I guess nobody else thought of it either. They definitely should have. What? Here we go. Probably gonna be ghouls in here. I don't think there are any molden men here. Ghouls and a fusion core. What the? Well, maybe there are survivors in here. Just molden men? Men using a gun? I'm just going to go into Terminator mode for a bit and just kill them all. Make sure we're cleared out here. How are we doing on Sandy? Not bad at all, really. Oh, Jesus Christ, you scared me, dog. Oh my God. Did you guys see that, that experience? <laughs> what is that? That's nuts. Okay, how do I go upstairs more? Okay, there's a top level still. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much looting to do after this. It's gonna take forever. Do I not have any more... Did I leave them all over there? Okay, well, we're, we're okay for now. I left all my... my drinks back over at that other place we were at. I need all the wood I can get for, uh... Sorry, I need all the wood I can get for cooking stuff, so I loot all of it if I can. I don't need that spine, but whatever, picked up accidentally. Oh, it's a robot. 
Okay, the operating theater, right? That's where I wanted to go. Yes. I'm expecting a uh, pretty good fight here. So we're doing that. Um, I don't have any hydration boosting stuff, so I can't really use any chems right here. Maybe not that big of a deal. Didn't get into his power armor. Oh, a nice, a fusion core. Alrighty, we'll take that. Oh, it's the shish kebab. We got an upgrade, boys. We got an upgrade. Very nice. And it's not even upgrade yet. Pretty good damage. Angel's Hood. Alright. Atreus Finch's journal. Who is the uh, ancestor of... Uh, what's his name? The Finch guy that you meet in the main game. Over by... Uh, where It's a settlement over here, I think. I forget exactly what it's called. Yeah, we got the shish kebab. It's not even upgrade yet, and it's already a, a nice damage boost over the machete. Well, no, I guess that, well, barely. You know, I might use the machete until I actually upgrade it. But it's really good. We're taking that with us. This thing just looks cool. That's, that's pretty much it. Like, it's just a badass-looking helmet. I gave him a just death. Hey, antibiotics, nice. More antibiotics and more Thorazine, oh hell yeah. I might end up drinking some of that dirty water. The Key of Hunger and Alan Finch's Journal 1 of 4. Okay, we got several journals. Um, Atreus's journal, we'll do that first. Right, Atreus Finch's journal. I have heard your will, O Master. From the walls of your chapel I heard you speak. But I know not of the serum you long for. I will scour the depths of the dead city if it is your will, but I long for a sign. The angel keeps the tunnelmen at bay, but what of the ghosts? They haunt us still. Don't they know to let go? Don't they know to forget? Sometimes I remember. I remember a time before the angel. I remember a man named Corwin and his brother Alan. But that was the old world, and the old world is dead. So this is Atreus Finch's journal. Um, remember a man named Corwin and his brother Alan. Then we also have Alan Finch's journal, which is different. A different person, okay? So Atreus was... Atreus was this guy, all right? This uh, fellow right here. That would be Atreus, who had the sort of power armor that he was about to get into, but then we just headshot him with a very overpowered laser rifle before he could. And this gentleman was Alan Finch, I believe. Because we got this off of him. And it's Alan Finch's... Well, no, Alan Finch's journal came from over here, actually. So maybe this is not Alan Finch. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it's we just... We have Alan Finch's journal number one of four. Let's see what Alan Finch has to say. July 6th, 2080. So about two years before the events of what's going on in Frost right now. Molden Center has been picked clean. Corwin and I have been sent out to try our hand at hunting. Imagine fresh meat. No more stale old cram for us. Orville said he saw deer in the area, but everything we track soon disappears without a trace. It's infuriating. 
June 10th, 2080. We've noticed a figure tracking us. Kor calls him Ithaqua, Windwalker. He watches us hunt but disappears before we can get a good look. Corwin thinks he's been stealing our prey and has it in mind to capture the man, but I say to leave him be. We cannot possibly be responsible. He cannot possibly be responsible. All on his lonesome. Okay. First mention of Ithaqua. Alright, um, a lot of stuff to loot now. Okay. I got a drink there just in case I need to need to get one later. Um, I don't like drinking like that, but you know, it's fine. We got a bunch of antibiotics now if we need to use one. It shouldn't be a big deal. Have more water I can take back and make into boiled water, too. Oh no, what did I just say? Did I get a disease? We're in low on bobby pins. And, uh, what's her name? Doesn't sell them anymore, so... Got it. Didn't see what that said before it went away. This was just a snack for these guys, I guess. This doesn't look like there's glass there, but there is. It's so transparent. Okay, that's everything of interest up here, I think. Or in that room, anyway. Anything in here? No, I think we're good. What's the operating music do? Kind of curious. Oh, it's just like classical music. Okay. Thought maybe it'd be something fun. Well, I guess it wouldn't be funny. It would be like classical music is what they would listen to, I'm sure. Okay. So that's that. That's the uh, operating room area. We got the key of hunger, which we will need later on. Which I shan't spoil for you. Really, really cool lighting here. Looks really, really nice. Getting a save. This area just generally looks really cool, especially at night. Uh, with the interior lighting, it looks really good. I guess I'll go from the uh, top floor down. Kind of loot as I go here. I don't think any of these, uh, these sinks give purified water. I don't really want to sit here and test every single one of them either. Okay, that seems to be everything of note in that floor. Pretty sure I just went down a whole bunch of floors. Okay, that's not where I really wanted to go. Also, my furnace is turning on, so uh, I'm going to pause for a sec and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. This is a really cool spot, too, for a screenshot. The lighting in here just looks freaking amazing. But that lone light there, put yourself in here. Yeah, it looks good. One of my first really successful YouTube videos, um, I took a screenshot there of a piece of power armor. Really good screenshot over there. And, uh, yeah, it worked very well. That's when I learned that, uh, yeah, having a good thumbnail is pretty important if you want to actually have people see your videos. Oh my gosh. Bobby pins, bobby pins. I might take the perk, yes. just so I don't have to worry about it too much. Another wedding ring. Those are quite rare. Yes, I hear you, Fusion Core. Oh, 
But where the hell are you? Can't go over there. Need to go to the second floor. Oh, I'm so, my poor character is so tired. Look at look at my AP bar. It's actually comical. There's so little of it left. It doesn't really affect anything on my character though with how it's built, so it kind of doesn't matter. I don't know if you ever really have to sleep. You might be more prone to getting infections and stuff whenever you're very, very tired. I'm not really sure. Man, you picked up a sniper, a, a pipe sniper rifle. That's just not very molden man of you. Not at all. Tyrius the Wise's journal, even more lore. Whoops. I want that machete. This would have been like their prophet or something, maybe? Molden was a wicked place. Scientists performed foul tests on unwilling patients and parents watched as their children transformed into cogs of the great machine. For these crimes, Ugkwo Toth sent us the angel. She is to purify Molden of its cursed past. She is to teach us the way of the new world, and she will not rest until the crimes of the past are erased completely. Elder Atreus has called a council meeting to discuss the issue of the old world ghosts. They block our path to the Holy Chapel and disrupt our operations at Dunwich. If only the angel could be sent against them, but the voice tells us that this is not the way of things. We must use the strength of our own arms in this battle. I do not fear the war to come, for it has all been done before. Okay, Mold was a wicked pace. Play. Scientists perform foul tests on unwilling patients. Par parents watch as their children transform into cogs of the great machine. So that's talking about the school, where children were transformed into cogs of the great machine, of, you know, of society or whatever. Uh, Ugkwo Toth sent us the angel, which Ugkwo Toth is, um, I guess their overall god in their religion, I suppose. And the angel, I believe, is Ithaqua, maybe. Pretty sure that's how it works. Old World Ghosts are the Themis cultists. They were at war with the Malden men. They block our path to the Holy Chapel and disrupt our operations at Dunwich. Block our path to the Holy Chapel. I'm not sure which Holy Chapel they're referring to there exactly. I have some idea. Not 100% for sure though. Okay, have I gotten everything important down here? I guess I'll take the strange meat. I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, human meat. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's, it's, it's fine. You can eat it. It doesn't reduce your sanity. Sometimes it's human meat, though, and it'll reduce your sanity if you eat it. So I want to avoid that. Eh? Nope. I'll take the hammer. I need the wood so badly to cook everything up I have. I have so much food to cook that will be a lot lighter once I have cooked it. That's got some wood in it, too. It's a good thing that they added that, the, the wood requirement. I mean, it makes a lot of items that I would not pick up in Frost. Now I have to consider picking them up because I have to use them for cooking. I think that's a good thing. Okay, go up to the next level.
like I said, guys, apologies, but there is going to be a lot of looting in here. Doing it as quickly as I can, just the basic stuff, you know? Want to make sure I got all of the uh, first aid kits as well. This is a hospital, so they are the higher tier ones. They have good stuff in them. Reactor coolant. Hmm, okay. It's a nice bed here, too. My character is really, really tired. Man, would you sleep here, though? I sure as hell wouldn't sleep here, I don't think. Way too spooky, man. Especially with all the dead bodies and all the freaking molten men. Like, what if you missed one? You could, you could, like, run through here a million times. And, like, what if they were just in a different spot every time they were hiding from you? They heard you coming every time and they were just in a different spot waiting until you went to bed. Then killed you in your sleep. Think about that tonight when you're going to sleep. Yeah, no. No thank you. Everything here? Yep, yeah. okay. Keep going. There's the key for that. If you don't... Oh, typewriter. If you don't uh, have lockpicking skill for it. Go around the lower area first, and we'll go up. Adhesive in general, like glue and stuff, is some of the most valuable per weight stuff. I can always sell some of that, too. I don't think I'm going to need, like, the 400-plus adhesive that I have. Though, I can always use it to craft stuff. You know, that's an option, too. Might be the best option for it, even though... It's probably less money overall. Sweet. Nice. Two percent more limb dam damage. Very nice. Oh, man. Jackpot. How many antibiotics did we get so far? I gotta drop something, though. Oh, um. Gotta drop something. Or have some... There we go. That'll do it, I guess. Okay, how many antibiotics did I get? Oh, my God. I gotta save, guys. I gotta save after that. That's a lot. That's some pretty stellar good luck right there. That's kind of insane. 11 antibiotics I've gotten up here. That's pretty good. A heck of a lot more than I got at the other hospital I was at. There's that fusion core. Let's recall there being a roach that pops out around here somewhere. Crap, that's right, I don't have any more room. Um, yeah, sorry, typewriter, you're just too heavy. Gotta make room for the fusion core, too.
Okay, dead end over there. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Already been on that side. And then uh, I think we're done up here too. Let me do one more quick run through the top area here just to make sure we got everything. And I haven't looted everything up here. Oh yeah, this entire room over here. Let's do that real quick. God damn it. It's always tries reset the first time. <laughs> that one was pretty easy. I got one that had a lot of in common. Oh my god, even more antibiotics and more Thorazine. Ooh man. We ought to be set for pretty much the rest of the game with that. You know, at least for our Commonwealth portion of the journey. That's pretty amazing. But, yeah, I really can't carry all this stuff. I really can't do it. Some of this stuff I didn't mean to pick up, so just need to drop it. Okay, that'll do. Leveled up too, didn't I? 52. Um, what do I want? Armor would be nice. Well, but I need I need the. I'm kind of getting low on my lock picks. I've heard this is nerfed in the next patch, though. It's gonna be. They're going to remove the, uh, your lockpicks never break, your buy pins never break portion of it. But I don't know if I even want it, to be honest. Medic or gun nut or chemist would all be great. Bloody mess four would be good, too. For packs of people. Why not? Those are light and give wood. I'll, I'll take those. Just so many crafting and quality life perks that I want to pick up. It's like. Just kind of like, I don't know where to start, like which one to go with first, you know? Doesn't really matter, I guess. I should just start shoving points in. But it's kind of conditionally based. Like, maybe... The reason I like to hold on to points because people get really pissed off when I when I hold points. Like, some people really get upset when I hold on to my points. And the reason I do it is because I don't know what I'm going to face. And I want to have points available in case I need to specialize in something at a given moment, you know? Like, if I decide I want to go and take out... U.S. Army Remnants at Fort Strong. I'd want to have heavy weapons handling so I could use a minigun when I go out there just to mow them all down, you know? That'd be a, a good idea. But if I'm not going out there anytime soon, there's no reason to have the heavy gun specialization, right? That's why I kind of... Uh, I kind of tend to specialize in stuff. Or I tend to... Oh gosh, it's like... We're going to do 24 hours, I think. So we get back to a reasonable, reasonable sleep schedule again for a character. But yeah, it's, it's because I want to have the options available, right? So I, I, if I want to change something, I can. I really like this uh, this mod, by the way. This better interface, it tells you what the date is and everything. It's really cool. I don't know, it just adds more immersion to know what the date is and stuff. All right, we're dehydrated, we're famished, that's fine. Didn't actually take any damage from those. Hmm. Huh. 
Yeah, I didn't take any damage from that. Okay, whatever. I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be as far as looting goes. We are quite full though, I think. Yeah, we're pretty damn full. Probably gonna go back and dump everything off back over at the uh, cooking bench that we were at before. What's our Sandy at now? We're still pretty reasonable. I have a suspicion that these guys are not reducing our Sandy as much as other people are when we kill them. Like, regular survivors give you more Sandy loss, I think, than Molden men do. I'll have to, like, check it before and after to make a confirmation on that, but it really seems like that might be the case. Okay, well, that is... That's a majority. I mean, there's still the Molden Center, right? Which is going to be where things get real interesting. Let me go back over to um, the HQ, though. Yeah, right over here. We got plenty of fusion cores. Huh, this car is inside of that or rather the um the sign is inside of that car whatever way you want to look at it second way was the more correct term the first time i ever came here i wasn't in a power armor build it was like my first ever frost run and uh it was just as insane back then but i came through here and I saw like 10 Malden men charging at me all at the same time. But I had a combat shoddy so I just came back right here and just unloaded. Like they all charged through this narrow, this narrow area and got like stuck on the rocks and tried to go around it. <laughs> it was just like, oh my god, it was so great. It was so intense. Blowing them all away with the combat shotgun. So good. Nowadays we take a more, uh, Take a more practical approach to things, because, you know, we don't want to die. We're on a permadeath run. The first run was not permadeath, and I died a lot. I would not suggest trying to do permadeath for anyone that isn't very, very experienced in Frost, because even with me, I died quite a bit. Just expect that going into it. Oh, there's a power armor station here, too. If I wanted to do some power armor modding, I could do so there. Okay, so... Where the heck is the uh, stairs up here? This is the area. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mutt chops. Oh, we got a lot of wood. We're we're gonna be good. Oh, I thought I said dog meat for a second, and I was like, wait a minute, what? Well, actually, I might use quite a bit of this up. Yeah, some of this is okay. This is the one we want to avoid. That's the, uh... That's the human meat right there. This is, this is chicken, it's okay. Okay, we did pretty good, and, um... I should find a spot to fill my bottles at, and then come back... ...with them filled. Trying to think of the best spot for that. Put that in there for now, I guess. Man, so many antibiotics. Antibiotics, I lucked out so much on that. A bunch of blood packs, too. 
Definitely don't need all these right now. I'm going to keep like... Not all those rat stakes, but some of the rat stakes on me. I do have purified water here I can grab as well. But yeah, I have a bunch of uh, bottles I can fill, right? I guess I don't have that many. All right, well, I have a bunch of purified water I can use. Nuka cherry can be used as well. It's fine. Yes, we got plenty of uh, hydration and food still. All right, so it is morning. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head in the Malden Center, I think. And um, go through there. Do I want more supplies than this? Maybe I do, actually. Probably want some stuff that's going to be not super heavy. Could be down there a bit. Not to give anything away if you haven't been down there. Got plenty of ammo. Should be fine. Don't need both the cores. Just one should be good. All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, so next episode, we're going to head down to the Molden Center, and uh, it's going to be a fun adventure. Let me put it that way. You're not going to want to miss it. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.